If you were selected to receive this video today, it means that your guardian angels have a very important message for you. A divine plan forgotten is rising to the surface. It sparked when you realized how special you were. The angels say, One of the biggest blocks to personal awakening and accomplishment is not always ego, false pride or arrogance. Sometimes it's modesty. Yes, humility and modesty in excess amounts can make you go overlooked, undervalued and underappreciated. It can make you unseen and misunderstood, particularly to those without the eyes to see or hearts to feel. Being supremely humble to the wrong people can lead to inner distortion, disconnection and forgetfulness. I repeat, a divine plan forgotten is rising to the surface. This sparked when you overcame the need to be supremely humble. It happened when you realized how special you were. You embraced your originality, uniqueness and inner genius. You accepted that you may be on a different level of life to many people due to the hard work and energy you've put into making this world a better place. The true nature of your divinity and destiny was revealed when you became the master of your ship, taking control of the steering wheel and being a way shower. Because everything in life has a polarity, people living in fear or ignorance can see humbleness as arrogance. Let us explain. Through not working on their own wounds and failing to explore and heal their shadow or toxic traits, they start to see their shadow in others. Projection ensues. Unconscious shadow mirroring occurs through self-denial and a lack of personal healing. They've become so lost in their self-denial ignorance and low self-esteem and self-worth that they fail to see how someone can shine so purely and brightly. Your humility is mistaken for arrogance because they themselves are arrogant. Let's bring the awareness back to real-world qualifications and achievements, titles, diplomas and grounded life experience. The concrete and tangible things in life do they possess this? Have they actually done the work, completed the hustle, and walked a path of self-discipline? It's all very well calling other people superior or arrogant for making sacrifices. It's more than easy to judge people who have devoted their lives to perfecting a craft, talent, or trade. It's very easy to overlook the weeks, months, and years of solitude self-mastery and sacrifice. A divine plan forgotten is rising to the surface. Your life path and purpose have been masked with deception, pollution and distorted belief systems. Karmic energies have accumulated around your life path and destiny, all because you didn't slow down and reflect in key moments. You may have had realizations been overcome with an epiphany, and then let the realization go. Instead of following the thought trail and coming to self-actualization, which is embodying the experience and integrating it, you release it prematurely. Being too concerned with appearing humble and modest can do this. In your pursuit of wanting people to know you're humble and successful, kind and prosperous, and compassionate and accomplished, you make the unhealed people judge you. People still living out their shadows combined with unhealed wounds project and hate. They mistake your kindness for weakness and your humility for ego. And this is because they themselves are living with ego. They are weak, clearly, though not wanting to act on ambitious impulses and become professional prestigious or self-sovereign. This is not a harsh judgment, but a higher level acknowledgement of human potential. You are a role model. You're a leveled up human in your service or profession. 
titles, prestige, and public recognition are yours. You're not a one-trick pony or someone gifted in preaching, but not teaching your leading. You have followed through. You're wonderfully talented, ambitious, and achievement-oriented. You know how to make a plan and stick to it while creating order, structure, and strong foundations for success. Your ability to manifest wealth, fortune, and strong finances is trophy worthy. When you speak or display your successes and achievements or your qualifications, you do so because you want to contribute to another's healing journey. You have genuine intentions of raising the loving vibration of mankind. You make a careful plan inside. You enter into a meditative space. You reflect on how your words can influence another, how sharing your success story or qualifications can inspire others. You don't speak from ego or a lack of heart. You are full of heart, genuine passion and sincerity. When you share your journey to success and prestige, you do it with a sense of awe and inspiration. More importantly, you do it with innocence. You are innocent to the coldness and harshness of the world. You believe we are an interconnected global family. You see everyone as one. If you're inspired, others should be inspired. If you've attained wealth and success, other people should know the tools and techniques for success. Being selfless coupled with naturally taking command of the spotlight is a unique gift. During your path to glory, however, you picked up on quite a lot of psychic debris. Negative energies, harsh judgments, and jealousies surround you. People became envious, verging on hateful and spiteful of your success. You started to see how during your multiple attempts at helping people, they turned against you. They mistook your kindness for weakness, your supreme humility for arrogance, and so forth. You may have even offered some incredible opportunities to others, yet they overlooked your worth. When you became accomplished, you had more resources, gifts, and abundance to share. You may be wondering why anyone would turn against someone offering free and bountiful gifts. The reason is, it has nothing to do with you, so don't take it personally. It was their own shadows and downfalls, or perhaps their pride and fake public speech. Spreading mistruths, bigging up our egos, and pretending to be superstars are common among younger generations. So, when the unhealed and wounded meet someone on a real level of life, yet who is equally humble and spiritually enlightened, projection becomes the primary currency. It's not about learning inspiration or self-development. All sense of personal evolution and being guided and motivated by those with the tools to help us go out of the window. Stubbornness, arrogance, egocentricity, immaturity, and chaos take over. A beautiful doorway, an opportunity that arises is cloaked in recklessness. Frivolity, the pursuit of pleasure, and instant gratification replace the desire to learn and mature. You may be an elder expert or seasoned professional. You may have years of qualifications, experience, and professional prestige under your belt. You are so generous with your time, talents, and energy that one would suggest you're a human monument. You're like a charity or free resource of amazing wisdom in itself. But others misjudge you, get severely jealous, and even treat you inferiorly. It's kind of ironic, so much so that the angel has a chuckle watching from above. Your genuine intentions shine out of your eyes. Your soul sparkles through your physical vessel like one of the brightest stars in the sky. You are walking gold dust. The people who look down on you judge you at the moment 
and then look on in awe and wonder. I want to end with a prayer for you. Lord, we gather in prayer for them, the one who may have journeyed through life's challenges under the guise of humility. We ask for strength, clarity and resilience to guide them on their path. Let their inner light shine forth unapologetically, for it is a beacon of inspiration and love. May they continue to share their wisdom and achievements with innocence and sincerity, not fearing the misunderstandings of those who dwell in the shadows. Protect them from negativity and jealousy, and may they find peace in their purpose, knowing they are truly loved and protected by the universe. Amen. Take a moment to allow all these words to resonate with your spirit. Remember, you are loved and protected by the universe. Type 333 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. The universe sees it as an act of kindness that fuels the cycle of good karma. You'll be spreading positivity and receiving the universe's blessings in return. Let's uplift each other and create waves of good energy together. I also want to pass on a time-sensitive message from the moon to you, and you need to hear it today. A subtle yet powerful energy will push you to make a critical decision by the end of the week. You won't find the answer in your horoscope, so don't bother looking there. Click the link in the description to see your free personalized video moon reading. I was amazed at how accurate my reading was, and I know you will feel the same. An important message is waiting for you in the next video. Will you hear it?